Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here. On I'm looking all over the place. I am filming on my new Samsung S22 Ultra, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I just said it. Apparently, I can't get 24 frames that I know of, but I'm doing this really quick because it is yet another bagel Sunday, and I'm going to get our bagels. So, that being said, let's go get bagels. So, I've decided to shoot with this camera today. I did a search of what is happening in Virginia Beach today. Jesus, what isn't happening? There's shit going on all over the place. But I have a feeling that there's more than enough going on down at the boardwalk. So I'm going to go down to the boardwalk area and I'm going to walk around and take some pictures. It is already gorgeous out. However, comma, it's 73 degrees. I, my guess is it's going to probably hit almost 80 and that's fine by me. So I had a lot of fun last night playing around with all these phones and getting things set up correctly. Lost a bit of flow because I had to change a lot of things and, and reset things up. So for instance, I have my watch set up to unlock my computers when I go to unlock them. And that setting got erased when I changed phones. So I you know, had to set all that stuff up. I looked into the whole Verizon digital secure thing and apparently I get that with something that I have in the plan anyways, so I don't need to drop it. It's just, I wanna make sure I minimize the amount of annoyance that it, it does, at least on this phone, because the other phones, have, it, I've never even seen it do anything, but here on this one it is. So we'll just go with the flow on that. I finally learned that I had the setting wrong on my iPhone and it allowed the AirPod Pros to basically transfer to any device that I was near and a lot of times then it wouldn't connect up with the phone because it would want to connect up with something else and I would be answering the, every time I answer the phone for somebody I'm like hold on hold on I gotta get the headset there so I finally figured that out simple Google search I think I would have done that first but you know, dumb monkey prevails sometimes. So I did that and I got that all set up. So now it doesn't try to transfer next to any of my iPads or my computers or any of that shit. And that's great. Uh, the beats are still kind of an issue when it comes to the work phone. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I need to use the beats with this and, and see if I have any better luck with it and then just do something else with the work phone. I don't know. Pain in the ass having multiple devices sometimes. Anyways, I'm here to get my bagels and I'm looking at the footage and not looking right at the camera because how many times do I do that? But I do see that it is showing everything inside and out of the, the vehicle. And that's pretty cool. So I have it set to, I believe, I think, 4K 30 frames. And then I'll just have to adjust in Final Cut Pro, and that also got an update yesterday, and I need to make sure that, that that didn't change a lot of settings. So, all right, let's go get bagels. Bagels have been gotten, and I can't wait to eat because I'm freaking hungry. Which leads me to, yay! It's been three weeks, and at weigh-in this morning, I have lost 10 pounds. 10 pounds in three weeks, hell yeah. And that's without really doing all that much exercise not doing all that much walking, especially because it's been so shitty out. So I'm hoping things are going to start changing weather-wise. It's at least starting to get warmer now. I think the whole having to turn the heat on and all that shit is done. And this coming week, it's going to be, there's like one day where it's like going to be maybe 68. The rest of it's all 70s and 80s. So I think the summer weather is here to stay. Um, so it won't be long now before I'll be schwitzing and, and just a big puddle of sweat for the next several months and I'll take it. Okay, time to go snarf. All right, kids, so unexpected pleasure. Huh? Look who's here. Yay. Okay, so we are booting a boot. We did the whole impulsive target thing and finished that. Now we're going to uh, like a open market eat place. Farmer's market, there you go. Why would I know what it was called? I can never find where it is. So anyways, yeah, I went the wrong way as usual. So we're taking the scenic route. It is 
pretty much almost 80 degrees out, sunny, schwitzy, and I'm digging it. So we're gonna go and look at fruits and vegetables and whatever the hell else they've got there and do other shit. So again, still testing this. I have no idea how to use it. I can't set or change the, I can't zoom, pinch or zoom or whatever. I can't take it off of 30 frames per second. So clearly I need to play with this damn thing and learn how to use it, but traffic. Okay, so she just walked into a soap store and I cannot take sense like that. Too strong, too strong. Yeah, she's done already. Let's swap the camera. Flip it around like that. Sure does make everything pop. Okay, so this is kind of crazy. That is the wide angle lens. That's the one times. That's the three times. And that's the 10 time. I mean, dang. That's some serious zoom and some serious wide because even the one times here is pretty wide. rain garden. Pretty flowers. Well, you can get right up on it, too. Reminds me of growing up and all the vegetables we had in the garden behind our house. Okay, so that, that's pretty much the farmer's market and uh, all the little things they have over here. Very cool. Sorry for the sound. There's just all kinds of motors going everywhere. And I don't know if this thing sounds like shit or not. So until I figure everything out and figure out how I want to do audio with it, and how much gear I want to be carrying around with me. That's it. I did dig my Samsung uh, head buds. I don't even know what the hell they're called. I had them in a drawer because I stopped using them when I got rid of my Samsung phone because they were such a pain in the ass to connect to the iPhone. But now that I've got this, I'm gonna try it again. So we'll see what happens. But for now, that was it for the farmer's market. So off to the next adventure. Oh. Look at the big fat TV. Hey goats. Hey Cody boy. One of the goats came over and maybe pet him. Got a itch in his ear. There's a pig. Oop, gotta move back. There's a sleepy pig. Piggy pig. Yeah. Hello. We have my wife slash chicken. You guys are cute. Mm -hmm. What a day, huh? Seeing chickens, goats, a pig. So my boy Deadbrook Barbecue asked me to do a comparison of this camera and my iPhone 13 Plus. Today is all about this camera. So, I've been spotted. Hello, go. This one's eyeballing me. 
Hello. Hello. You're just chilling. Chilling like a villain. Whoops. It's on three times. That's why that was so hard. Uh oh. Here comes the other one. Hello. You got some horns, dude. Everybody's itchy. Oh, there's a goose. It's like impossible to be around chickens and hens and shit without going pop, 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 and making chicken noises. Okay, that was fun. We came here to get peach cider. And we got some strawberries, because it felt weird not having strawberries. All right, we're going to go home and put all this shit away, because it's, like, really hot. And, I mean, we're only a couple blocks away from the house, but still, we don't want it sitting in the car. So, we'll be back. Okay, kids. That was a fun day, albeit unexpected. I thought I was going to be going to the boardwalk and walking around or maybe going to Pleasure House Point. Did not expect my wife to decide that she wanted to, to go out and do stuff. So we've been all over the place and I recorded everything with this Samsung S22 Ultra. I did everything in 4K, 30 frames per second. And I said, you know, I'm going to have to play with this because I don't know, like, I can't believe you can't, don't have 24 frames per second. You have to go to more and select pro video. Once you select pro video, then that opens up all kinds of other shit. You can actually then touch and change all the settings and, and you can get uh, 24 frames per second. Otherwise, if you don't go into pro mode, the only way you can get 24 frames per second is to shoot in 8K. And I'm not shooting in 8K because that's stupid. Now that I know that, I will probably play around a little bit more. Now also, if you shoot in the pro mode, it's only with the camera that's facing that way, not the selfie camera. I can't switch between, you know, there's a little thing there that, that allows me to switch between this camera and the other camera. And if you're in the pro mode, you can't switch. So, you know, you're going to have to weigh out what it is that you want to do. I think this looks fantastic. I mean, I'm still staring at myself and I keep looking over in the, in the center of the screen, which is where my melon is, but the camera is over there and that's going to be really hard for me to get used to. So uh, for any time I shoot video with this damn thing, if it's of myself, sorry in advance, because I'm constantly going to be looking at myself instead of looking at the, at the camera, which is going to be all the way to the left. That concludes my test. I wanted to take this thing out today and do everything. Right now I have this on the Insta360 selfie stick. You know, I have it a little bit of ways for me so that I can hold it out here and talk to you. So it might be a little bit jiggly. Uh, because I'm kind of holding it on my lap. But that's pretty much all I've got for you today. I'm going to see how easy and or difficult it is to take all the footage off the phone onto the MacBook Pro Air M1 and get it into Final Cut Pro and edit. Hopefully it isn't too awful because that'll suck and I don't want to have to edit a video on the damn phone regardless of what phone I have. And So we're going to see how that works. But for now, I need to get something to eat because I'm freaking hungry and I need to cool down because it's hot as balls already. And then I'm going to start up my normal Sunday, which is, of course, laundry and probably some day job stuff and editing this video for you. Uh, probably maybe tomorrow I'll shoot the entire day on my iPhone 13 Pro Max and, and see what a difference is. You'll be able to get a pretty good idea of how it works. We'll go from there. So that's all you get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And also, let me know what you think of this footage. Let me know what you think of, of how it sounds, because I have no idea right now. You know, just tell me what you think. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up. Where the hell do I look?